very exciting. It's a very exciting time for me, and I know it will be an exciting time for listeners of our show, The Weekly Planet and Caravan of Garbage. Well, you've Mason. covered everybody there. Everybody's excited. You, the listeners. Yes. Anybody else to be excited there? Everybody that counts is excited because, <laughs> Mason, you have notoriously not seen almost every Disney movie. That's correct. By design. They're not my jam, you <laughs> yes. know? Yes. This is a great opportunity. Now we're getting all these live-action remakes to have you go back and... <laughs> Watch them for the very first time with fresh eyes mm. as a bitter old man. A bitter old man. <laughs> yeah. It's not my demographic. It's not my generation. <laughs> it's nearly 100 years after some of these have come out, you know? <laughs> the first one we're doing is Dumbo, but also this was the movie that set you off. Disney movies. Disney movies, yes, <laughs> that's true. So why not start with it again? That's What's the worst that could happen? What about this when you saw it as a kid did you not like? Bearing in mind that this is Walt Disney's favourite Walt Disney Disney movie. It was his favourite. Yes. He's changed his mind since then. Oh, really? Yeah, the frozen head (laughs) has changed his mind since then. Now he loves Tangled. He loves Tangled now. Of course he would, yeah. It's a good movie. So he wants to grow his hair like that. <laughs> the seven-headed Walt Disney, Frozen. But when you saw this, what, why were you like, I hate this? Even as a kid, and I, I could not tell you at what age I saw this, but it, yep. would have been, it would have been under 10. Yeah. It's the relentless sadness of yes. these movies. I think it's this is when I... I maybe I'd seen a couple of uh, Disney movies before this. I can't really remember. Yeah. But I think this must have been when I felt the formula kick in, where I'm like, these movies are just... Everything's really sad, yep. and then things get even more sad, and then at the end, things are slightly less sad. But it's still pretty sad it's overall. It's pre- still pretty sad. Yeah, this is... I I'm, I like a lot of Disney films. Some mm. I even love. Oh, yes. This one, yes. I hate. Can we even <laughs> include this as a movie? It's well, it's, it's, it was theatrically released, yeah. but it's only 64 minutes it's long. It's true, yeah. And it's breezy. You told me it was an hour, <laughs> and I started up, and I'm like, oh, an hour and three minutes and 56 seconds. Oh, I'm to so mad. To be fair, though, the credits go for a really long they time. They do. <laughs> this, was, this is 1941, so opening this is the era credits, where yeah. the opening credits are everybody. None of this. Whoever flipped that around, I can't yeah. remember who it was. George Lucas? Might have been George Lucas. Yeah. Whoever flipped it around, bless you, George Lucas. But you know what I was unexpected from this for me? And maybe it's just as a dad, Mason. Oh. A lot of the, the, the baby animal stuff yes. was like, oh, this is nice. Because it opens with a, with a bunch of storks, a platoon, yes. whatever you want to call them. A swarm. A, swarm. a vicious swarm of storks, <laughs> storks yes. A murder off. of storks. <laughs> yeah. Dropping off baby animals. But also, it's kind of horrifying because... This circus, that they've got all these a variety of different animals. Enslaved animals, yes. Enslaved animals. And then in one night, everybody's just given a whole lot of animals to take yeah, care right? of. Yeah, right. Some of them have like four or five at once. Yeah. The ringmaster doesn't seem surprised. No. He's not like, what happened? What's going on? What is this? Double the peanuts. Every animal just got peanuts there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's uh-huh. all they got. But I just think there's nothing more terrifying for me than just like, hey, you got four kids now. Like no build up. Just yeah, you've right. got four exactly. kids. <laughs> That's true. You know, that probably also would have terrified me as a kid. Just the idea that maybe one day you get just get delivered a little version of you and you have to look after it. And you're like, I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Even though I believe this is a this this came after Fantasia, I think. And yeah. so it's a lot simpler than that. Yeah, well it was intentionally made simpler and cheaper because the two movies prior to this Bombs. Bombed. Yeah. Uh, Fantasia and Pinocchio. Oh, yeah. yeah. This course, is only uh-huh. the fourth. The first one being yeah, right. uh, Snow White. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but yeah, I was like, oh, this is quite this is quite simple, but I also like that there's this the swarm of, of, mm. of uh, storks. Like, they, they go in a little formation. Yeah. I'm like, oh, the animation is that is nice. But then it, it quickly took a turn when I realized the, the first voice act of the stork that is delivering Dumbo is uh, Sterling Holloway, who's my least favorite, possibly my least favorite voice actor in the world. <laughs> Why is that? He di- he's the voice of Pooh. Oh! Oh, yes, I'm rumbly and my tumbly. And, like and, the original one. Yeah, though. the original voice yeah. of Pooh and any number of other things. But I just, I, I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. What is it? You just don't find his voice grating? It's just grating, yeah. <laughs> now, let me see. It must be right around here somewhere. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, it's a perfect start, I think. Now, you mentioned the unrelenting sadness in this movie. Yes. It's so fucking sad. It's so sad. But it even opens where Dumbo's mother... By the way, his name's Jumbo, and he gets bullied... Jumbo Jr., yeah. ...bullied into being called Dumbo. Uh But she's the only one who doesn't get a baby delivered, and it's just so forlorn and sad. And she clearly wants it more than anybody else, because... Half of the other animals are asleep when they get their kids delivered. That's true, yeah. They don't even care, but she's looking at the sky, waiting. But she does finally get her, her baby arrives. And initially the other elephants are like, this baby's awesome. And then when it's seen to have big ears, they just turn on a dime, mate. <laughs> they really do. They are vicious. Relentless mocking. <laughs> just the, they, so that's the thing. And what I enjoy about a movie 
what you know maybe something like this in animation maybe is that all the bad people get got. That's yes. what I like about an action movie, certainly. This is, all... is a revenge film. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. But they don't get revenged enough, I okay. feel. This is, all, this is very much... This is like... If this is a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer situation. And if I may spoil Dumbo, the movie Dumbo, <laughs> yeah. at the end of it, Dumbo gains the ability to fly. Yeah. Or he always had it in him, but he needed to believe in himself or whatever. Then he doesn't kill anybody. <laughs> But I feel he should. It's like Rudolph, where like Rudolph was relentlessly mocked until he gained the ability to guide. Until he Santa's. got that machine gun. Exactly, and then he could he could guide Santa Slay to the various murders, and then they're like, "Oh, you're useful. Yeah, good for you. You're useful. So we're friends now. Yeah, it's the same as this. He should have visited bloody revenge on all of them, but he, he couldn't. <laughs> he, well, because you know? he was he was enslaved. Also, exactly. The, the other elephants didn't get booted out of the circus, did they? No. That's what should have happened. Is that he should have been? They should have been like. Oh, Dumbo, you can fly. You're the best elephant there is. Don't need any any of these other elephants and just dump them in a tar pit or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know? Here's one thing I do also like about this. There are moments with Dumbo and his mother, like when they meet. There's a bit where she gives him the bath. It's quite cute. Uh huh. There's the bit where they have the reunion because she gets locked up for when he's bullied by nerds and she yeah, goes, right? uh-huh. she goes crazy and yeah, she gets whipped and tied down with ropes. It's a very distressing Chain, scene. Chained on all her legs. Oh, yeah. it's uh-huh. awful. Yeah, it's a sign that says "Mad Elephant" on the on the case. <laughs> Mad Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing about this elephant that deserves it. And he's also not an unattractive elephant, as far That's as exact, elephants go. That's exact, as far as elephants go. None of these other elephants... Look, I'm, I'm a bit fixated, but none of those bloody other elephants are an oil painting, are they, exactly? <laughs> exactly. They're all a bunch of argos, if you ask yeah. me. He's the best of a bad bunch. I've, I've got a fun fact here, because this is, this is to really drive home the sadness. Dumbo was seen standing on his own, swaying from side to side after his mother was taken away. This is actually an accurate depiction of what elephants do when they're emotionally distraught. Oh, so they no. went out of their way to be like, what does an elephant do when it hates itself? Didn't they, didn't they, yes, didn't they go and observe <laughs> elephants? Or they even brought elephants into a soundstage or something like that? Well, to... most likely. Well, it seemed, well, a lot of the movements here is quite good. Mm. So yeah, that wouldn't surprise me at all. What did you think about? I'll preempt whatever you're going to say. I hated it. <laughs> okay, so he makes friends with a mouse, Timothy Q. Mouse. Timothy Q. Mouse, who yes. Who is... A terrible friend and bloke. <laughs> just making him do horrible things. One of the plans for the mouse is... The, the ringmaster's idea is he's going to get all the elephants to stack on top of each other. Mm-hmm. But he needs a big finale. Because that's not enough, inexplicably. <laughs> right. To yeah. have nine elephants stack on top of each yeah, right. other. And they're just sweating, crawling all over Crushing each other. Crushing each other's faces. <laughs> yeah. And then the mouse whispers in his ear when he's asleep that the finale should be Dumbo runs in and then bounces off a springboard and then lands on the very top. I don't think that's necessary. Mm. But the other thing is... They don't seem to have practiced it. Because when he goes right. to run in, he's yeah. tripping over his ears. Yeah, and right. He should be wearing a hat. There's no one backstage to kind of usher him on except yeah, right. a mouse. Yeah. What is this universe? And also, yeah, well, I, I, you know, I guess, I guess the mouse's ultimate goal is, is for Dumbo to be the best in the world. Yeah. But then at the end of it, of course, the mouse signs a, a lucrative contract and <laughs> yeah. he gets rich. <laughs> he so obviously his, his ultimate goal is not altruism. It's... it's <laughs> It's getting a piece for himself. Yeah, because you know? he, he's trying all manner of things to make Dumbo famous. Yeah, and it just right. happens to be that he could fly by pure chance. Yes. Because these experiments could very likely have <laughs> d- resulted in Dumbo's death, possibly from alcohol poisoning. Yeah. Or misadventure. Or, misadventure. or being set on fire, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There's another sequence where Dumbo is demoted to being a clown, and then all the other elephants denounce him as not being an elephant. Did you <laughs> yes, see that bit? He's, see that he's bit. excommunicated <laughs> like he's being kicked out of a church, and they're like, we'll no longer recognize him as an elephant. He becomes a, a baby that's trapped in a burning building. Yeah. And then he gets pushed out of the bird but they really set it on fire yeah and they really pour gas on it and they yeah. really it's horrifying yeah and the other thing is when all the elephants topple because it's Dumbo's fault yes so many, it could have killed so many people yeah <laughs> like all the elephants are busted and I guess it's supposed <laughs> to be funny because they've all got broken legs but the whole tent topples over. See, that's the thing. As a kid, that see, mouse is a lunatic. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like as a kid, I you know I'd be like, ah, oh, slapstick, funny. But as an adult, I'm like, broken legs are really serious, guys. That ball's really strong. Yes. <laughs> How are they all balancing? I on? don't know. The logistics of this are crazy. Maybe just sell your really strong ball to <laughs> to the military industrial complex. <laughs> Make your money that way, ringmaster. Now, probably the most infamous scene from this movie, and it goes for much longer than I remember. Oh, yes? Is Dumbo gets drunk. The pink uh, elephant sequence. Accident. Yeah. It should be really, though, more accurately, it's Dumbo takes a lot of acid. Yeah, right. Because, you know, I've had my 
my fair share of beers and nothing like this has ever happened <laughs> right. to me but or But have you ever had them out of a bucket? No, I haven't. That's correct. A slop bucket of a slop dirty bucket, water yeah, that's with right. an Ebola in it or whatever. Yeah. Animation... Well, we don't know what those clowns were on, really. No, we really don't. Yeah. But animation-wise, it's quite spectacular. I think it is, yeah. It's horrifying. I would have watched... I, honestly, I would have watched an hour of that. Really? I thought it else, went yeah. way yeah. too long. But the one memory I do remember from a kid is there's a point where we see this gigantic monster elephant that is made up of elephant heads. Like a Voltron. Like a Voltron of, of elephant heads <laughs> yeah. menacingly coming towards the viewer. And I'm like, oh, that's brought back something bad. I don't like this. Now, he wakes up in a tree after this uh, this binge. Yes. And this is the scene that uh, it, it's... This it's, is the most memorable scene, I feel. It's the most the- memorable scene and it's... Considered groundbreaking and also very controversial. Yes. Depending on what side of the fence you fall on. Right, because we see the arrival of a, of a, of a murder of crows. Very good. Thank you. Uh, who then sing the song. What's it, what's it called again? When I See an Elephant Fly. When I See an Elephant yeah. Fly, which I guess is the, is the most it's memorable song. It's the best song. song. It is the, absolutely yeah. the best song. This is, yeah. this is the highlight. But also, are they minstrel stereotypes, the, the crows? I don't know. Well, that's the thing. So, in the script, the main one was, was initially referred to as Jim Crow. Yeah, right. That was changed. Okay, then good. Uh, and considering this is 1941, it's not the most racist thing that could have Absolutely happened. Absolutely not. Like yeah. they all, they're all they living free yeah. and they're like they're kind of the freest thinkers yeah. and they're the most fun characters, you know? And three of the four uh, a- actual African-American actors. Right, okay. Which okay. was very unusual for the time as okay, well. Because yeah. that was the era when... Just put it, put you, get a guy in blackface. That's yeah, right. fine. You know Just I mean? get a white man in blackface <laughs> and put him in the recording booth. <laughs> yeah. Have him record some audio with blackface on. That'll really off- make it authentic, you know? But this is when the mouse gets the idea. And I remember it being the crows, but it's the mouse. The mouse tells Dumbo that, yeah, we probably flew up there. You can probably fly. And then he's the one who puts the gets the idea that we should definitely try this. <laughs> right. And the crows kind of do shove him towards the e- the edge because Dumbo doesn't talk. No, Dumbo has no he has no way of objecting to anything. <laughs> he's got no agency. This kid, no. you know, he's a real goose. He's a bit of a goose, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. But then by by chance he can fly, and everyone's pretty happy that he uh-huh. can fly. The, the mouse does get the idea, but I believe the the crow uh, gives him the magic feather. He gives him the the psychological edge he needs. Yes, but for again, good there's or no Ill. but again, there's no guarantee that would work. There is no evidence that he can fly other than he was in the tree. Yeah. If I found an elephant in the tree, yep. If its wings were a hundred feet across, I wouldn't assume that it flew up there. <laughs> but no, that, then it obviously this fa- movie has ladders in it. It's got this ladders. Universe, it's, this universe. This universe has ladders and trampolines in it. And uh-huh, yep. You're right though. The the ending, it feels vicious, but also kind of toothless. The end result is... That's what it says on the poster. Yeah. The original Dumbo release poster. It's vicious, but toothless. Yeah. But the end result is Dumbo gets a slightly better carriage. All the animals, except for the crows, still work for the circus. Yeah. It seems like three quarters of the animals that the circus keep, they don't actually use. <laughs> Yeah, right. a bunch of stuff. What's the kangaroo doing? What's the hippo up to? Yeah, right. Just sleeping underwater, Just mate. Just slowly drowning underwater, yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. It's, hippos don't have gills. <laughs> Is that hippo trying to kill itself? Yeah. Mm. So I guess the the one kind of silver lining though for me at the end is, and I'd forgotten this from a kid, that I thought the mother just disappears. I would have made that assumption as well. Yeah. Not, if you'd said to me prior to me watching this, what happened to the mother? I'd be like, they took her away in chains and she died in sadness. But no, still alive. Still alive. I mean, still enslaved. Yes. But they get a little private car. They get a private elephant car yeah. on, the, on the train at the end. That that, so isn't that, that something? Yeah, that, that train that is seemingly conscious oh, yeah, it is, has isn't to it? drag. Is the train also... Enslaved? I guess so. Or does, this, or does the train get paid? Maybe the train gets paid in coal. Yeah, like coal. But where coal. can it go, though? You know what I mean? That's right. It's, it's got trapped. a one-track mind and just service. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I get it. Yeah, Trains. Yeah, yeah. Trains. No, I understand. Trains, yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah, I don't... I don't like These this better line. get better. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Well, the next one we're probably doing is Aladdin. Okay, right. I'm yeah. told that one's good. Yes. So, I've picked up enough from context of various parodies and yep. video games and, and other things that this one might be more up my alley. So. Absolutely. Mm. But what do you rate our first dip back into Disney for you? What do you give it? Uh, out of out of frozen Walt Disney heads? Out of, yes, sure. Uh, one frozen Walt Disney head. Out of? Um, depends on how many times they've cloned him, I guess. Okay, sure, yeah. So, like, let's say five. Let's be, be traditional. That you know? seems fair. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Uh-huh. You're very welcome. Hey, this has been Caravan of Garbage. And guess what? There's an extended audio version of this oh which you goodness. could uh, find below. Also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. You want to check it out? It comes out every Monday. We talk movies. We talk comics. We talk TV shows. Did I already say that? 
I can't remember. I wasn't really paying attention. Me I was just, neither. I was just re- rem- remembering, and I was just trying to shoehorn something in that uh, I thought Jiminy Cricket was going to be in this movie. Oh, right. But he's not. He's in Pinocchio, right? Yes. I feel like maybe Jiminy Cricket should have been the Nick Fury of these movies, <laughs> yes. and he keeps showing up in all the various ones, right? <laughs> that would work. Absolutely, yeah. Mm, okay, let's... If they're going to reboot these, maybe bring in a Jiminy Cricket with an yeah. eye patch. I wish that mouse was stamped to death like that one from The Simpsons. You know that joke yeah, right. in The Simpsons? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Lucky mouse. I didn't hate him so much. Not a fan. Okay. Bad bloke right. and mouse. Mm, Two things. You're right. There's also videos here every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. Have you got something that you want us to check in on? It could be a comic, could be a movie, could be a TV show, could be a video game. We'd love to. What's your favourite Disney movie? Is it this? <gasps> Can't be this, surely. Surely not. No. Yeah. Walt Disney's favourite though. Walt Disney, if you're, if you're listening to this, and you might be, mm. you're getting all the information from the web pumped into your brain. <laughs> Send us an email. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.